Okay, now we're going to talk about Lab Chapter 2, pH and buffers. This is going to be a quick review. Okay, objectives. To define pH. pH is potential hydrogen. And discuss its importance to the physiological process. The body pH is 7.35 to 7.45. The normal is 7.4. Anything beyond this, below 7.35, is acidosis or the body is acidotic. Anything above it is alkalosis or the body is alkalotic. Uh, we will come back to that. Anyway, uh, the changes in pH affect changes in proteins, affect the changes in the structure of proteins. And as you've heard in your lecture, the protein, the proteins such as enzymes are very structural specific and if the pH changes too much, uh, they lose their ability to catalyze chemical reactions in the body. So maintaining a narrow pH range is very important to the physiological process uh, and the ability to support life in the process, in the, life in the body. If it changes a little bit, it can be reversible. If it changes too much, it, it will lead to coma and death. Define acid and BA, pH. Uh, excuse me, acid and base. It's early in the morning, sorry. Acid is when your hydrogen ion concentration is greater than that of the hydroxyl. This is the hydrogen, this is the hydroxyl. Uh, acid is when you have more hydrogen and hydroxyl, and dependent, depending on the amount of acid. But if there's more hydrogen, it's acidic. If there's more hydroxyl, it's basic or alkaline. Uh, the pH scale is how we measure the amount of pH, and again, pH scale stands for potential hydrogen. So the pH scale is based on the hydrogen ion concentration, not the hydroxyl. The pH scale is the negative of the log of the hydrogen ion concentration. So the lower the number, the more hydrogen there is, thus the more acidic. So the pH scale goes from 0 to 14, a 0 being very acidic, a 14 being very basic, a 0 meaning that there's 1 gram of hydrogen per liter, uh, a 14 mean, meaning there's 1 gram of hydroxyl per liter, virtually no hydrogen. At uh, pH is 0, again, all hydrogen, no hydroxyl, very acidic. Uh, the pH scale is a logarithmic scale, meaning that a change of 1 point is relatively, the relative is a change of 10. So a scale from 4 to, to 3 meaning, means that there is 10 times the amount of hydrogen uh, in a 3 than there is in the 4. Because as I said, as, a, as the number goes lower, as the pH number goes lower, the more hydrogen there is. So if you go from a 5 to a 3, that's 2 points. That means there's 10 times 10. That's 100 times the amount of hydrogen. If we went 6 to 3, that's 3 points in each a factor of 10, so that's 10 times 10 times 10, uh, which is 1,000. So there's 1,000, uh, the concentration of hydrogen is 1,000 times greater in a pH of 3 than a pH of 6. Now, as you see here, water disassociates. You get a hydrogen and a hydroxyl, but it disassociates equally. That means that if there's an equal number of hydrogen and hydroxyl, the pH is neutral, and that's a pH of 7. Uh, different ways we're going to look at determining pH, we're looking at uh, a hydrogen-specific electrode, and this is your pH meter. Then we're also looking at a color, uh, not a colorimeter, but pH paper that is impregnated with different dyes that react at a different pH. And that's just a colorimetric, colorimetric method. Then we're also going to do a very rude, rudimentary titration. So you can titrate it with an acid or base, and by the amount of uh, acid or base that's added, you can determine the pH. Alkalosis and acidosis. Again, the normal seven, body pH is 7.4. If you get below 7.35, it's acidotic. It's not acid. You're not acid till you get below 7. But for the body's sake, it's acidotic because it's on the acid side of normal.
alkalosis if you're above 7.45. It's alkalotic because you're uh, from the normal of the body, which is 7.4, you're moving more into the alkalosis or basic range. Alkalosis and acidosis are a physiological term. Acid and base are a chemical term. Below 7, it's acid. Above 7, it's base. Below 7.35, it's acidotic. Below 7.45, it's alkalotic. This is in the human body. Define the term buffer and describe the role of buffers in the physiological process. We'll get to that in just a second. Define association, association and disassociation. As you, if you look down here, you see the water. The water disassociates into hydrogen and hydroxyl. If, so it adds hydrogen to the solution or adds hydroxyl. In water, it's added equally. So it's, it's basic. Now here is carbonic acid, H2CO3. It disassociates into hydrogen plus HCO3. Because of this free hydrogen, carbonic acid is acidic. The sodium bicarbonate, however, disassociates into the salt and the carbonate group. Because of this, uh, sodium carbonate is, is basic. The concentration of the hydrogen or hydroxyl in a solution is a function of the disassociation we just look, looked at. Uh, anything that disassociates easily, that adds the hydrogen or the hydroxyl to the solution easily is a strong acid or a strong base. If it does not disassociate easily, it's a weak acid or a weak base. Water does not disassociate easily. It disassociates at a very low rate, 10 to the minus 7. You have equal hydrogen, hydroxyl, water is neutral. The pH scale, as we said, uh, expressing the concentration of hydrogen in a solution. pH is an abbreviation for potential hydrogen. Well, it's a logarithm of the reciprocal or the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. Here is a uh, look at the scale. A uh, pH of 1, you have 1 mole per liter of hydrogen, I'm, and the pH is 0. I'm sorry, that the pH is 0, you have 1 mole per liter of hydrogen. Look, you have very little hydroxyl. At 7, it's neutral. You have the equal amount of hydrogen and the equal amount of hydroxyl. Above 7, it's alkaline because you have more hydroxyl than you do hydrogen. At 14, you have 1 mole per, per liter of the hydroxyl. So it's, again, very, very basic. Here is this. This is a copy out of your book. Here are some common acids, hydrochloric acid, phosphoric nitrate. Uh, notice they all just have the hydrogen. Here are some common bases. Notice they all have the OH or the hydroxyl group. Hydroxyl is base, hydrogen is acid. Because the pH changes need to be minimized, uh, the body has three systems or mechanisms to accomplish this. One is by the kidneys, which excrete uh, hydrogen or retain hydrogen. If the body is too, has too much hydrogen, is acidic, the kidneys are going to excrete hydrogen, and you're going to see the pH of your urine drop. If the body is too basic, the kidneys are going to retain hydrogen, and uh, the pH of the body goes up and by pH of the urine goes up, excuse me, uh, and it brings down the pH of the body by retaining the hydrogens. Uh, carbon dioxide mixes with the water in the blood to form carbonic acid. If the body is acidotic, you're going to blow off more carbon dioxide so that it's not there to mix with the water to make carbonic acid, thus raising the body pH. And but the big the big maintenance of pH in the body is a buffer system. A buffer it's called a buffer system because it has two components: a weak acid and its conjugate base. Here we're looking at the bicarbonate buffer system. Here's your weak acid, sodium or excuse me, carbonic acid, and your weak base, your conjugate base is sodium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate, excuse me. The weak acid is composed of a hydrogen and an ion. The hydrogen and the anion. 
and the conjugate base is composed of a cation other than the hydrogen and the same anion. So your HCO3 is your same anion. Buffers minimize pH by changing and combining with the excess hydrogen or hydroxyl. A weak acid combines with the excess hydrogen, meaning if you have a base with the OH added, the weak acid is going to combine and neutralize it. Also, if you have an acid added, the sodium bicarbonate is going to combine with that and neutralize the acid. Uh, this we'll look at in just a second. The weak acid combines with the excess hydroxyl to neutralize it, while the conjugate base combines with the excess hydrogen. Uh, we'll use the bicarbonate system. Carbonic acid is a weak acid. Sodium bicarbonate is a conjugate base. Here in the, in the blood, the compounds disassociate. You have uh, carbonic acid is hydrogen plus carbonate. Sodium bicarbonate is sodium plus carbonate. Now, if I add a strong acid, so we're going to use hydrochloric, an acid is not going to neutralize another acid. You need the base, as we said before. So if I add hydrochloric acid, it disassociates to hydrogen plus chloride. In the body, the sodium bicarbonate has disassociated to sodium plus carbonate. What's going to happen is the sodium is going to associate with the chloride and form salt, which, because it does not have a hydrogen or hydroxyl, is neutral. It does not affect the pH. The hydrogen from the hydrochloric acid is going to combine with the carbonate and form uh, carbonic acid, which is a very weak acid, which uh, the body can handle through it whatever other mechanisms it uses. Uh, on the other hand, if we add a strong base, the sodium hydroxide is going to disassociate to sodium plus hydroxide. And again, as we said, a uh, base cannot neutralize a base. An acid is going to neutralize the base. So it's going to combine with the carbonic acid. The carbonic acid has disassociated to hydrogen plus carbonate. The hydrogen and positive hydrogen and the negative hydroxyl are going to combine and they're going to form water. The sodium is going to combine with the carbonate and form sodium bicarbonate which is already part of the buffer system and it's a weak base. So in that way you have taken a very strong acid or a very strong base and turned it into a very weak acid or a very weak base and thus essentially neutralized it. Now the other reason, other way that the lungs work, and we mentioned it earlier, is CO2 plus H2O form carbonic acid, which can go back and forth and release the hydrogen and bicarbonate. If there's no CO2, uh, the CO2 has an acidifying effect on the blood, and if the blood system is, uh, realizes it's acidic, you're going to blow off more CO2, so it's not there to add to the problem. And that is essentially the, uh, the end of the, the end of the presentation on buffer systems. And if I can turn this off.